Hello everyone, welcome to Stamping With Ian. I've got another project for you today. It's uh, customer thank you card time. Uh, well actually it was last week, but I wanted to make sure they got them first. <laughs> if you know what I mean. So uh, something I think you'll think is, hopefully think is pretty. This is what I've, this is what I've come up with. Uh, it's actually, it's uh, been inspired by, and typical me, I close the page. Let me just go to history, recently closed. It's not there, so let me just go uh, history, Pinterest. Is, hopefully how do you actually open the page ah here we go right sorry about that this is uh, Vicky Richardson on uh, on Pinterest. Uh, I've changed up uh, changed up the colours. I've changed the design slightly. Uh, the stem sets we're using are right. I, I was only going to be using uh, tasteful touches. And they're the dies uh, because Vicky used this flower here. However, there's no die, and I don't fussy cut. Uh, there's a chance I could use Miscannon cut, uh, and I will give that a try actually because it's, it's a very pretty flower. So I'm using the uh, I'm using the sentiment you were so special, and the leaves from this. But I got my flower from the Positive Thoughts, this set here. So I'm using the flower and the butterfly, and that has dyes for both of those. Okay, uh, I am using a die, uh, actually, for the tasteful touches for the sentiment, and that's that die there. Okay, let's, uh, let's give you some measurements and some colors. Uh, Three by new ink colours, soft succulent, fresh freesia and polished pink. So first of all, we have a card base. Don't lose your dies in. Put them in that little box. <laughs> oh, I'd best bring me die cutting machine around, haven't I? There we go. Now then. Uh, that piece I'm, I'm going to stamp and die cut. These two white pieces are the same size, three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. Uh, that's going to mat on there, like that. This is this is four by five and three quarters, and this is this is half a four, so eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored and folded at four and one eighth. So, get me tools. <clears throat> get me a bone folder. Have I hidden the bone folder away? Or is it still on here somewhere? It's still on here somewhere. It's still on my desk. <laughs> so, I've got a nice furnish. We'll put the uh, inside bit in. Get that out of the way for if we get. Uh, glue of choice is uh, combo, multi-purpose. Love this stuff. Love the wiggle room. You gotta have the wiggle room, am I right? <laughs> get back in shot again. I've got I've got this tendency to wander off down here, you know. <laughs> Then you can't see me. <laughs> oh dear, dear me. So. Not 
I am going to stamp inside here, so, uh, but first of all, get some paper so I don't mess my nice screw paper up. Is that the right way around? It is. Uh, soft succulent then. And technique here is uh, stamping off, or even stamping off. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one here, like so, and then one just off to the side, stamped off. Beautiful. And then I'll have another one, slightly off the card, like so, and then again, stamped off. Beautiful. Love, love, love. We'll stamp our flowers next. Put, put that out of the way and our butterfly. So, so. I'm, playing with, I'm playing with fire here, you know. I've got two ink pads open. <laughs> oh dear me, what am I like? Beautiful. Close your ink pads, by the way, straight away, because you will get your card stuck in them elbows, fingers, whatever. Trust me, I know. Straight up, straight down. Beautiful. We're going to do some die cutting now. First of all, let's get that. Uh, let's get this done. Not quite got enough cardstock to uh, stamp and then choose where the die is going to go. So I'm going to stamp afterwards on this one. I'm just placing the die on the magnetic plate. And placing these dies. That's moved. Go down a bit. Move, move the cardstock a bit. Lovely. Now to figure out. Which way around this goes? <laughs> I think I know. Lovely. Put my top plate on. Try not to disturb the dies. And we're in. Dies back in the little box. There's our flower and our butterfly. This is going to be for our sentiment. I need to do another one of these because I'm going to create a shadow. Like a shadow piece, yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Right. So we've got, we've got another bit of stamping to do, which is our sentiment, which is going to also going to be in, put my teeth back in, soft succulent. Bang that in the middle, hopefully. Oh, perfect, perfect, chuffed at that. So, a spot of assembly now. We can get rid of this scrap piece. And get our stamping dimensionals. Love these. Love these to bits. Always have done. No, we don't. No need stamping dimensionals yet. We need some glue. <laughs> this is our stamping seal plus. Uh, I always buy the strong one. I, I don't buy the stamping seal. I figure get the strongest one you can. Yeah. Makes sense to me. Not to buy two. And then we're going to put that at a little bit of an angle, like so. So it's like got a bit of a shadow. Now we can put the dimensionals on. <laughs> there we go. So, flower. You only need one on these. These are strong dimensionals and it's only a bit of cardstock. So that goes over the mess there. <laughs> Get one on the butterfly, nicely in the middle. And we're going to put that just there. Then we've got our sentiment. That's going to go in the middle. Don't be afraid of the white space. Make it work for you. Next level. White space is good. Fits nicely. There. Okay, a bit more glue. There's our card base, get it the right way around. in the middle I'm going to put a couple of butterflies in the corner which I need to do on that one as well so one there and one there So that's the one I made earlier, that's the one we've just made together. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, whatever you're doing today. I hope you have a lovely time and I'll see you again soon. Bye.